The following is an absolutely true and accurate reproduction of The Angel Falls Travel Diary that I have completely fabricated. There's so much rain. I fear this is not what I had imagined when my love and I set upon this adventure. I see my new wife now hiding herself from the elements beneath the foliage of a banana tree. They are plentiful here and, when the weather allows us the opportunity to see, very beautiful as well. Jungle Rudy is attempting to start a fire beneath one of the many stained and brown tarpaulins he has brought with him. As a guide, we could want for nothing more than Jungle Rudy. He has steadfastly guided us through this dense jungle, his large, rust-colored knife shearing through the ragged branches and vines, easily clearing the way. The climate is much more difficult on us two than I had anticipated, and sometimes I fear that I may abandon this fool's errand as lost. We certainly hadn't anticipated this eight days ago. At the time, it had seemed as if fate had guided me to the easy chair in my den. My fiancé had once again become quite cross with me due to my inability to choose a destination for our honeymoon. My love, she reasoned with me, there are but five days before we are to wed, and while simply becoming your wife will please me to no end, I do wish that you would take me to some faraway tropical island where we can be alone together, away from our families and the office. She then left to be with her mother to continue choosing flowers and colors for the ceremony. I am not ashamed to say that my bride-to-be had affected me greatly, and her happiness was paramount in my priorities. I had not, as of yet, decided on a destination, simply because I felt no retreat was the equal of my love for my bride-to-be. As is my habit, I went to the den and poured two fingers of Canadian Club into a snifter and lounged in my easy chair with the latest edition of my favorite magazine. Many of the articles were quite interesting, but I soon found myself looking at the advertisements instead. Many of the advertisements featured beautiful and exotic locales, and I began to look seriously at one which depicted Acapulco as a terrific destination. A few pages later, however, I came upon an advert for Canadian Club, the very drink I was enjoying at the time. The advert told of a case hidden in the deepest Venezuelan jungles, nestled beneath Angel Falls. At last, I telephoned my agent of travel and began the plans to embark upon a most unique honeymoon. A honeymoon as special and as unique as my dearest love. The first step towards our adventure was to find a man called Jungle Rudy. He proved to be a slender man, with a face worn and aged in such a way as to suggest that he is no man to be trifled with. He has a deep, rasped-like voice that hides what I have found to be a gentlemanly nature. He has been most kind, and as I have stated before, a most sufficient guide. He brought with him, as an apprentice, a young Venezuelan man by the name of Victorio. He spoke very little English, but was a fine adventurer nonetheless. The adventure began easily enough, with calm weather and easy going, but soon became a true test of endurance. The majority of our journey has been on the Rio Carao, in an Indian-carved canoe. My wife has been very brave and has not complained of the discomfort. In fact, she appears to be of terrific spirits and has enjoyed this, I dare say, quite as much as myself. The adventure on the river was excessively exciting, I must say. I believe the difficulties of the trip can best be summed up by this exchange I had with Jungle Rudy earlier today. I do believe I've lost count of the number of rapids, Jungle Rudy. The last I counted was around 42. Surely we must be nearly arrived. Quite nearly, yes. There are only 37 to go. 37? Alas, his statement was not made in jest. In all, we went through 79 rapids. We stopped for lunch at one point, and I seized upon the opportunity to charm my lovely new bride. At lunch, I presented her with some lovely pink orchids I had picked not too far from the place we sat. She beamed at me and thanked me kindly. How I do truly love this woman. This adventure has most definitely solidified our union. We continued on foot through the vast jungle. I remained brave so as not to frighten my new bride because the very jungle we were treading through was home to jaguars and boa constrictors of over 20 feet long. We arrived at the end of a long trek at the base of Angel Falls. The sight is of a beauty that I fear I could not well describe here in words. It seems to begin far above us in the heavens as though it rains down on us from the garden of heaven itself. I searched through the brush around the base of the falls alone because my new bride needed a brief respite after the long hike. 
It wasn't long before I returned to her, our honeymoon present in hand. I had found the hidden case of Canadian Club. We celebrated by opening a bottle on the spot. It was of impeccable quality and much appreciated. We asked all the members of our expedition to sign the bottles. Victorio signed with a print of his thumb. I do believe that there is no one else who can say that their honeymoon was equal to mine. And I dare say, my wife is pleased we did not go instead to Alcapulco. Thus ends the diary entry for the Angel Falls hide case adventure. I'm sure my own adventure will be as exciting as this one, should I be fortunate enough to be chosen. And if it helps, drink Canadian Club whenever you drink socially, but never ever drink and drive.